30 years in, in exile, I made up a poem about about a about a inanimate, inanimate day. <laughs> and glory be to God, <laughs> and there you are. The dawn in the hills of Ireland. God's angels lifting the dark veil of night from the beautiful face of my silent. Oh, Ireland, the grand you look like a bride in a rich adorn, with all that pent up love in her heart beating you at the top of the morning. This joyous hour pays lavishly back for many years of mourning. Sure, I'd almost take another flight just for the sake of returning. Watching out for you, had the shores all the attraction scorning. Oh, Lyle, can't you hear me shout, beating you at the top of the morning? And we got our cores in the grandeur of watching the wild waves motion, leaning with your back to the hills and the tips of your toes in the ocean. So no wonder I can't hear the shenton bells. Ah, but maybe that shining is over. Oh, there are many years since first I began the life of a western rover. Yes, thirty years a storm of Cree, the land which I now face my eye on, was never seen except in a dream of memories past arising. But even so it was grand it looked, as that vision shone before me, when I'd open my eyes and still see Texas sky still o'er me. Now fuller and clearer the shoreline looked, so was the river and sea more splendid. I can almost taste that monster breeze. And God, my exiles in it, all scenes, all songs, all friends again. The veil, the cot I was born in, old island up from the bottom of my heart, sure I bid you the top of the morning. Glory be to God. One small joke. Could be a big joke, you know, it could go down well, I'd say, though. Well, uh, I was a young, I was a young man. I got a motorbike. And I take it down to the crossroads to show it off. And uh, I met a fellow there, his name was Clancy. He says, lovely bike, how fast does it go? I said, jump up and we'll take a ride. So I'm only going down there a few, Quarter of mine, he says, stop the bike. The wind is cutting the chest out of me. <laughs> I stop the bike, I says, take off the jacket, I says, and turn it around back to the front, and I'll zip it up on the back, and you won't feel a, a bit of that wind. <laughs> so I did. Now we're going down the road, and I'm doing about, about, about 80. <laughs> <laughs> I says to him, how do you like her? Sure, he wasn't there at all. I had him lost about two miles back the road. <laughs> so I wheeled the bike around and I went back. And here was Nancy in the side of the road. And there was two or three farmers around him. And I says, my God, how is he? Well, he said, he wasn't so bad when we got here. But since we turned his head around the right way, he hadn't spoken to us. <laughs> well, he hadn't spoken to us. <laughs>